Isaac, what about your thing? Yes, yes, Oh, yes. yes. No, I don't know to what it is you refer. Okay. Who died of dysentery? Yeah, it smells like a fart when the living walked through you. <laughs> it's nasty. It's nasty. It's not pleasant. It's so <laughs> okay. You light this stuff, and it wards off evil spirits. <gasps> what did she say? Does that work? So, can I count on your support, Hetty? Well, I do believe that women should have each other's backs. Yes. No. But I don't believe that women should be allowed to vote. Mm. I won't get into the who's and why's, but it has something to do with overtaxing the female brain. What the hell? Come on, Hetty! I fully endorse your position, which is why you should vote for me. Illegitimate though that vote may be. <laughs> but there hasn't been a dinner party here in over a decade. This isn't fair. Oh, I live for dinner parties. The repartee, the gentle mocking of the hostess when she leaves the room. You call those potatoes, Abigail? Uh, <laughs> that kind of thing, you know. I shall limit the guest list to me and three ghosts of my truth. You can't keep me out. No, but Thor can, as my muscle and my dear honored guest. Yes! Main list! Congratulations. The other two attendees shall be Alberta and Isaac. Huzzah! Fine, fine. But the rest of us will keep watch and alert the livings so they may confront our vandals. I'm sorry. It wasn't nice, and I won't do it again. Thank you, Zach. Apology accepted. All right, let's go. <gasps> the livings are not going to be happy. We know what the good news is, is that there's nothing they can really do. We're ghosts. We're impervious to their worldly punishments. They could take away our TV. No, but there's a new season of The Bake Off. Oh. All's well that ends well. Um, oh, God, I believe it's Sunday. Pete, I think it's time for Food Club. Oh, where did we leave off last week? Thor was talking about cards. Oh, yes, you're right, absolutely. It was quite a cliffhanger, if I recall. Ah, 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 ah. Not so fast. Something doesn't smell right here. Well, I think everything smells perfectly fine. It was an accident. Also, Isaac Lai, Eddie and Sass went along. <laughs> and don't we deserve to be busted? Oh, hey, man. Really? He's the one doing the right thing. I really do feel bad now. Samantha, we want you to know that we just feel terrible. Yes, and we would like to take this opportunity to formally apologize for this evening's, um, you know what, let's call them missteps, shall we? Because I think we all learned a very valuable lesson. Shut it, Isaac. Ooh, yep. You know what children need when they do something wrong, babe? You give them consequences. That's true, Jay. I like that. Small man using our own words against us. Oh, I'm not loving where this is headed. No TV, one week. <gasps> but the Bake Off. No, All no, of us? No, 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 come on! Yeah, you guys did this. Much? Come on! Have you got enough room in that van for all your potatoes? <laughs> that was a good one. So, there were a lot of rumors going around today about how I didn't have a girlfriend and about how maybe I just made that up in a blind, sweaty panic, but... Here she is, in the flesh. The rotting flesh. I thought I might just maybe stay up here. <laughs> What's that? I mean, we might as well stop sneaking around, right, baby? Well, we're not sneaking around. I we? spend every night in Pete's room. <gasps> there, oh. it's out there in the open. <laughs> This'll just take a minute. Well, what is this? Isaac and I were in the middle of a riveting debate on scarves. Well, the moment we all feared has arrived. Pete's developed the spine. This is an unfortunate turn of events. What are y'all talking about? Pete's finally sticking up for himself, and you think that's a bad thing? Need I remind you what it was like before that saint of a man was felled by a little girl's arrow? No one compromised on anything around here. Isaac is right. Pete's spinelessness is the grease that keeps the wheels of our little world turning. It's Hetty, Alberta, oh, and me. Three against one. Thor, you must give up your room to Pete and the filthy one. Mm -mm. Thor not moving. But we voted. For not believe in democracy. Oh, how convenient. Fine. I changed my vote to Isaac. Me too. Weasels. Cause you all suck. And I'd rather be with the cholera pit people. <laughs> well, I guess I'm on my own. Sorry, Hetty, there's no room for that. Why don't you just bunk with Isaac? Why would that be okay? Because, well, you guys are old timey and stuff. It's true, we are of a similar elevated status and share a mutual appreciation of the finer things. Well, I suppose if we must cohabitate, I could do much worse than the lady of the house. Of course, as man and woman, we will have to resist our natural impulses, but I think we're up to the task. The truth is, I have developed affections for someone 
on the estate. But it's, um, <clears throat> oh wow, it feels like there's an actual lump in my throat. Isaac, we've been friends for 130 years. You can tell me anything. Oh, well, Hamilton pretended to not know me at a party once and then got my name wrong several times over the years after that. <laughs> Classic arch rival shenanigans. <laughs> the person who caught my eye is Nigel. <gasps> oh. Oh. He's the one who broke the bro code. Oh, come on, that was gasp-worthy. There's something wrong with you people. Well, I... I'm sadly embarrassed I didn't see it. Oh, oh, don't, don't be, don't be. I'm sure no one did. Because I know the story of how you really lost your pants. <gasps> oh, come on. I don't, I don't know why this has been so hard for me. And I guess I just felt that if I ever spoke of these matters out loud, it would mean that everything that came before it was a lie. But if that is what it takes to speak the truth, then so be it. And I am so, so deeply sorry oh. for deceiving you. Again, again. Oh, oh seriously, God. Isaac, you already heard the answer. Just one more time. Alexa, how did Alexander Hamilton die? Alexander Hamilton died of a gunshot wound on July 12th, 1804, at 47 years old. Again, again. What you have been the past two centuries is my dear friend. That could never be a lie. You think you're ready to tell, Nigel? Couldn't be less ready. Oh. But one day, hopefully, I will be. In the meantime, it's just nice to have someone to share my actual feelings with. Are you planning on asking anyone special, Isaac? Like a certain British officer you murdered, perhaps? Shh, no, you are still the only one that knows about that, and no, I am not ready. Oh, God, who would have thought that a prom of all things would create such a stressful social situation? I have an idea. What if we all just went together as friendly companions? Now. Again. Oh. Last time, I swear. Oh, do you remember that footman who worked here for about a week in the 30s before he got caught stealing silverware. Oh, who, Clive? No, I don't remember him at all. Or the way he filled out those khakis. <laughs> <laughs> it was wild. Oh, the only tragedy here is that we haven't been doing this for years. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <gasps> so, have there been any updates on the Nigel front? No, no. No, sadly. Ever since our awkward conversation where he tried to take things in a more romantic direction and I... Responded by running away through a wall. Mm-hmm. Yes, ever since that, we haven't spoken. I think he's avoiding me. I probably blew it. You did all this for me? Do you think she'll get sucked off now? Sucked off at prom? I suppose anything's possible. Hmm. Isaac! You're letting fear lead you. You need to go for what you want. You only have one afterlife. Do not sacrifice your shot. Oh, please tell me you're not quoting that musical Hamilton. Incorrectly, am I? I am, and I am deeply sorry, but it was just so inspirational. I'm gonna go tell Nigel how I feel. This is a very important moment, Isaac. I'm honored to be here bearing witness to it in the room where things are happening. Oh my God, please. I'm sorry. No, just stop. I will, I'll try. U2 is a popular rock band from Ireland. Oh no, they're Irish. That's lovely. Eddie? Of all the bands in all the lands, no, I can handle it. You should take it down. No, that's my poster. Take it down. That's my special new poster. Take it down! Why even open bed and breakfast? Sell cinnamon and live like kings! <laughs> So, how did everything go? Uh, it's fine. I, I don't really want to talk about it right now. I like you. I like you too, Isaac. <laughs> I knew. I already knew. It has been very hard keeping this secret, but he already told me, and I'm sure you all are as shocked as I was when I first heard. Right? Yeah. 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 I know oh, I did. Color me. Well, it's getting late. What? 
Oh, no, but we're still at 1994. We don't even know if that OJ fellow tracks down the real killers. Isaac, feel free to call on me at the shed. Had you. How about those 90s, huh? <laughs> Is it just me, or does he seem rather uncomfortable hanging out here at the mansion? I must say, he did seem in quite a hurry to leave. Yes, I wonder if something's wrong. Well, have you talked to him about it? <laughs> no. <laughs> that sounds like an unpleasant conversation. Indeed. Avoid relationship conflict at all costs. Yes. Bottle it up. Allow the resentment to fester until the hatred becomes so ever-present you must turn to the sweet, sweet milk of Mother Morphine to numb the pain. Yeah, short sure. conversation. Good nerd. Wait, what's Thor doing in the basement? He moved down there after Pantaloons here told him to get lost because his British boy toy doesn't want Thor around. Isaac, is that so? Is it telling the truth? No, I, I merely suggested he tone down his energy a bit. And I suppose upon exit, he did cryptically promise he'd not be around anymore, but I just thought that was his Viking temper. And above all, loyalty to your friends. Mmm, loyalty to friends. I guess the 90s were a different time. Alberta, Bertie, sweetie, you've just got to relax. Excuse me. It's all good. Hetty, are you ill? Can, can we get ill? It's Jay and my kids and their kids that are going to have to deal with all this climate change stuff. Wait, are you pregnant? Did Jay's seed find purchase? Am I about to be a great, 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 great aunt? We can't handle money, so centuries ago we decided on back rubs. The problem is no one can compete with Hetty. Through a combination of shrewd bargaining and a general disdain for physical touch, which leads her to never cash them in, Hetty has amassed a vast wealth of back rubs. It's not fair. We're going to party and vault. You guys should come. No, rest assured, we're quite fine in here. Suit yourself. Lame duh. <laughs> okay, where were we? Ah, oh, yes, throwing a party of our own. I can't do this, man. What? Look, I joined your frat because I hate siding with Trevor on basically anything, but I just got to get out of here. Well, it's just you and me, then. That was so rude of Sasabis just to leave us here like that. I think I should go give him a piece of my mind. You just want to go to the party, don't you? Desperately. Thank you for understanding. Oh.